Welcome to the advanced GIF tutorial. For a basic GIF setup tutorial, including the options on the main GIF screen, check out the basic GIF tutorial here. First, let's click on Make New GIF, and then add a name for our GIF. Then you will select the number of pictures in your GIF. This is the number of frames that will play in your animation. We'll use 10 frames here, and you'll see them appear under the frame number heading below. The frames per second adjusts how quickly the GIF will play. For 10 frames, we will use 4 frames per second. Thumbnail frame number allows you to choose what frame of the GIF will appear as the thumbnail on a PPU sharing station. This is useful if only certain frames have the guest in them, so they can identify which GIF is theirs by the thumbnail alone. If this is a green screen GIF, you can assign any green screen that you have created to each frame of your GIF. You can set all frames to have the same green screen, or create a unique green screen for each frame to have a moving background, overlay, and photo position. In a folder in the green screen tab, I've created two green screens, one for a title, which will be frame one, and one for all other frames. You can set each frame to take a photo, not take a photo, or use the photo taken in another frame. For this GIF, I only want three photos to be taken. I will change frame one to don't take photo because I only want the title to show, and I will set frame two to take a photo. Then I will set frames three and four to use other frame. I'll use frame two. Then frame five will take a photo, and I'll use six and seven to use frame five. Then frame eight will take the third photo, and frames nine and 10 will use frame eight. Repeat first picture applies the first photo to every frame in the GIF. Frame message is a text field that can be set to display a unique message before each frame is captured. For information on custom text, see the custom text tutorial. Note that setting a custom duration for the text to display overrides the frame duration for that frame. Filters can be applied to your GIF by highlighting them here. Under temporal filters, you can select a filter called glitch. You can adjust the glitch filter settings in the filters tab. Check out our glitch filter tutorial for more information. The position adjust setting is for adjusting photo holder placement with green screen GIFs. With single frame, you can move the photo holder individually for each frame of a GIF. And with all frames, the photo holder position applies to every frame in the GIF. If enable photo edit is checked in the main GIF tab, you will also be able to adjust the holders after each photo is taken. If you are printing a flipbook from your GIF, you can use flipbook frames to choose which GIF frames will print in the flipbook. Reverse will play the GIF forward then backward, like Instagram's boomerang feature. Print full size prints GIFs at their maximum quality and resolution. If this is left unselected, the GIF will print the frame that is set as the thumbnail at the final GIF quality, which may be lower than desired. Configure page design saves frames in your GIF to a previously created page design. You can assign each placeholder a GIF frame by selecting the appropriate number. You have the option to save the page design as separate photos on the sharing station, save and print the page design along with the GIF, or just print the page design when printing the GIF. Use original photos will save higher quality images, but will not use green screen settings. You can apply filters to your original photos here. Configure video is useful because Instagram does not upload GIFs, and Facebook albums don't play them. Here you can save your GIF as a video file rather than a GIF animation to ensure full Instagram and Facebook compatibility. This will also improve your processing time. The video settings can be set in the Video tab. You can also choose to only post as a video to Instagram or Facebook. This will also save a GIF file for your other sharing methods. You can choose the number of loops you want the video to play and load an audio track. Check the loop box to make the audio track loop during playback. Click OK and choose Auto Apply or User Select, then select the GIF you've just made. Click Animate to capture your GIF. Let's adjust my size a little using Position Adjust. Perfect. You can rotate, scale, and move photo holders with this tool. Now let's create a burst GIF. You can also refer to the burst mode GIF instructions for help setting this up. Note that frame messages, custom text, photo edit, and position adjust are disabled for burst GIFs. Enable burst mode allows you to take a rapid series of photos with a single camera trigger for a much smoother animation that is closer in appearance to a video. 
The speed of burst mode captures also allows for many more frames to be feasible in your GIF. The delay between photos in milliseconds here, the number of frames, and the frames per second should be considered together when creating a burst GIF. I'll use a delay of 120, 20 photos, and 6 frames per second. Now I need to assign my green screen to the new frames. I can't do this individually, but burst mode is also a great time to use the load bulk feature, which allows you to import several backgrounds and overlays at once. Click load bulk and a pop-up window will allow you to select background files, then overlays from a folder on your computer. PBU will automatically display JPEGs for your backgrounds and PNGs for your overlays, and let you know if you have a different number of each. Different numbers are okay, but you will get a warning message just to make sure that you know that. PBU will order these by file name, so numbering them is a great idea. If you have more than 10 images for your background or overlay, start your number with a zero to preserve the proper order. Bulk loaded files will appear in a folder under the green screen heading and in the green screen tab. In burst mode, a blue progress bar replaces the GIF frame number on the live view screen so your guests can see how much time they have to show off their moves. And that's it. You're all set with an advanced GIF activation. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head to our support page for more tips and tutorials.